I pray. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Yeah. I gotta pray for my ops. Want me to fall so bad, they pulling out all the stops. Okay. All out of work to be done and they want me to stop. Fulfilling my destiny, I'm on my way to the top. Bad times revealing the fakes. You wasn't loyal, you wasn't right from the start, you was always a snake. They can't phase me, got on my side and you know we protecting the saint. You thought you had one up on me, now I'm feeling too great. Why they jealous of my ice? Got them wondering the price. Every profit gotta shine. They don't want us looking nice. Know you wanna see us fail. We move in the spirit of Christ. They sold on sale. 30 shekels be the price. Yeah, I gotta pray for my ops. New slaps for the sheep and they man on the job. Call out of work to be done and they want me to stop. Fulfilling my destiny, I'm on my way to the top. So much snakes I see around me. Don't want me to live, they wanna ground me. They tryna silence me. I got God on my side and all these angels that'll ride. So I pray for my enemies. I pray. Gotta pray, gotta pray. Gotta pray for my enemies. Yes, I pray. I'm just trying to get the kingdom. You can see it in my eyes. We got heathens watching, eat them, plotting. Demons in the skies. Evil prophets, leaders, seeking prophet, preachers, telling lies. We the ones they tried to stop, but now we right back on the ride. Hey, 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 let's go. So people just say for you. Already had a little feeling that you were loyal. I was the one who had your back when they came for you. But now you switched your side and I just can't ignore it. Ooh, stay in the box and don't come around because we are not equal and we do not play with the ops. We holding it down. I you my people, I see you be hating a lot. I'm sick in the crown. I let you little niggas just stick to the scrape in the pot. You pray for the most, I to give you the drive, but you didn't stay with the route. Oh, no, they ain't stopping the profits. I'm taking my crown. I'm getting the kingdom and there ain't no way you can stop it. They said my name. Talking that shit, these niggas is out of pocket. No rally for rally, and I pray for my enemies. Yeah, I'ma stick to the top. Yeah. So much snakes I see around me. Don't want me to live, they wanna grow me. They try to silence me. I got God on my side, and all these angels that ride. So I pray for my enemies. I pray. Yeah. You're a cool and you love your master. Huh. When you teach, you be skipping the chapter. 
Raptors. Wow. Got the rock and I'm doing the will. Huh? Violate these scripts, gon' slap you. Wow. You ain't keeping the law, you ain't spiritual. Uh -huh. All these demons, they wanna get physical. Uh -huh. Got a silly drip, but they like a medic. Uh -huh. All these lag getting cut like umbilicals. Uh -huh. All these lag getting cut, they pathetic. We the army of God, yeah, I said it. Uh -huh. Tell the pastor, pull up, he can get it. Yeah. Got a heresy, I'ma shred it. Yeah. Your pastor, they greedy. Yeah. They better know who we be. Yeah. You gon' lose if you bank it on TV. Yeah. Got them scared, and they watching like TV. Yeah. Cry out loud, I ain't spare no feelings. No pull a law, I'ma show him what's in it. Show you how to spot a ghost prophet. Cause we are both the law business. Gino, we know Whoa. you are talking like Debo. Hold on. When the purpose around the block, couldn't find him like Debo. Gino, we know what? that you got a big ego. You say you wanted a spiritual war, then you hide behind people. You, you call it a Ku Klux Klan. Klan. You said we a pup again. again. You said that I wanted. We want well, I'm making these scriptures bang. bang. We prison in the Christian church. church. We hitting them up where it hurts. Hit It's em. a very obvious doctrine. We bring them out in a hurry. My team do a bliss every county. Uh, my God put a price in your past ahead, and I'm pulling up for the bounty. What? On the block with the water, they drowning. No mercy, my head is confounded. Yeah. My weapon is shake of the blood when they're knocking the prophets. Don't miss when they sound it. <laughs> hey, my team rowdy. Yeah. My team do a bliss every county. Uh, my God put a price in your past ahead, and I'm pulling up for the bounty. bounty On the block with the water, they drowning. Huh? No mercy, my head is confounded. Like what? My weapon is shake of the blood when they're knocking the prophets. Don't miss when they sound it. Controlling the narrative, y'all niggas weak. Hey, trust me, your future look bleak. Huh. Thank you for turning against me, cause that doesn't prove me. I keep making tweaks. Uh, busy, I'm out of the streets. Streets, y'all still writing tweets? Shit, everybody shook when I clap. Back, my enemies gotta retreat. Petty shit ain't work. They don't know who they accusing. Got bombs and I ain't even use it yet. I made a sword out of music. I do it. When I strike, these devils gon' lose it. Huh, that your car was a doozy. Trying to damage the way people view me. Yo. They shooting they shots back to back. You don't know you can't step to a guy with an Uzi. No, boy. This good over evil. I'ma talk once after that. Ain't no sequel. Right. My weapon is lethal. It's about time I go hunt for a weasel. Hey. This for the people. Fight off these demons coming for the feeble. Uh. 
My weapon is lethal. It's about time I go hunt for a weasel. Hey, 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 hey. hey I'm calling all soldiers. Hey, 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 hey. Shalom, 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 Israel, Most High Christ. Bless, let's rise and face Jerusalem. Men of Israel, blow trumpets. Trumpets, down. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. In the name of, our, in the, name of the Son, Jesus Christ, we say amen. amen. Hey, shalom, 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 Israel. Oh, praise it. The brother got me in the spirit with that one. <laughs> oh, praise it to the most high God. All oh, praises, y'all. I am Officer Benana to my right. Officer Aaron. And we are UIC Tupelo holding down daily bread this morning. All oh, praises to the most high. As y'all know, this is wicked Thanksgiving. So all praise to the most high. I'm the first up to cash that garbage down. Right. <laughs> so we're going to cash down Thanksgiving today. Uh, as y'all see, the name of the class is Thanksgiving, uh, uh, celebrating the destruction of God's people. So today a lot of our people are up cooking. You know, the black woman been cooking all night long. Mm. You know, give, give me one of the pictures I sent you by the, at the table, bro. Mm. This is what our people are doing today, you know. You, you know, it's crazy that the, the black woman, that's the one day of the year she'll cook. <laughs> hey, that's what y'all doing right here. You don't want to cook no other day, but you go celebrate this garbage right here. This is what you this is what you see all across America today. Mm. The mm -hmm. black black family sitting down to celebrate the destruction of their brothers, the tribe of Gad, Damn. the Israelites. Uh, then I send y'all another one. That's what's going down today. 
Now look at that. Y'all going to pray. Y'all going to pray mm. to mm -hmm. that to that turkey, to that god of everybody. It ain't a god. It ain't a god of thanksgiving. Mm. It's mm -hmm. not a god of thanksgiving. So our people, our people uh is praying mm. for the god of of everybody, the god of thanksgiving, which is not a god. That's an idol. That's an idol, and we know through the scriptures that our idol ain't nothing. Right. So uh, let me open up. Give me Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. All praises, shout out to the leadership for getting out teaching the bishop, the deacons for getting out teaching the Bible, because I would have been stealing that foolishness myself, bro. Mm. You know, bowing my head to a God that don't exist. Okay, read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 10. Uh -huh. See, I have this day set thee over the nations mm -hmm. and over the kingdoms Read. to root out mm -hmm. and to pull down. You hear that? God set us up over the nations like the prophet Jeremiah to root out and to pull down all these lies that's been set up before our people. Read. And to destroy mm -hmm. and to throw down. You see that? We're going to destroy Thanksgiving and to throw that stuff down. Okay? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. To build mm -hmm. and to plant. And we're going to plant in our people who we are. We are the Israelites. We went into slavery for breaking God's laws. And we must repent and come back to the laws of God and keep God feast days. Right. Not uh, the so-called white man feast days. He, the white man mocks us. The so-called white man who is the nation of Edom mocks us, has us celebrating our destruction, bro. It's some evil stuff. Give me Proverbs chapter 14, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 2. The book of Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. He that walketh in his uprightness feareth the Lord. I'm sorry, verse 12. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. There's a way which seemeth right unto a man. You know, this seemed right, don't it? Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving seemed right. It yeah. seemed you got the turkey... You got the pilgrims, mm. the pilgrims and the Indians got together, and you got little kids at daycare cutting out toy turkeys and garbage. Mm. You know, it seemed right. Mm -hmm. You got your big mama and them coming down. Mm -hmm. You got you got you got <laughs> Leroy and them coming over tonight. <laughs> you know, June bug and them coming down. <laughs> June bug and them bringing the cranberry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, that's what our family members will say a lot of times. Right. You know, well, God wants family to come together, don't he? Right. That's what they say. <laughs> well, you mean tell me God don't want us to come together? <laughs> yeah, he wants you to come together under his law. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to come together under his law. Read that part again. I was There's a way which seemeth right unto a man. So it seemed right. It seemed right. And a lot of times we talk to black folks on the street when we bringing out about Thanksgiving, they they just can't see it. Mm. They're like, no, 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 no. My my mom and them, no, we we don't celebrate no idol. Right. We just get together. It's just all about family. Mm -hmm. No, you celebrating the idol. You celebrating the destruction of your people. We don't. But the end thereof mm -hmm. are the ways of death. You know, it seemed right, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You're in the midst of all idolatry. Okay. You're in the midst of evil. You celebrating the destruction of God's people. Okay, give me Titus chapter 3, verse 3. But, hey, all praises to the Most High that, the, uh, like I said, the leadership got out and taught the Bible that we that we could hear it and wake up and right. come up out of that because we was one time foolish. Read that. The book of Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Mm -hmm. Read For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You see that? So, look, I understand what the people are going through because we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Read on. Disobedient. We were disobedient to God. Read. Deceive. Mm -hmm. What? Deceive. 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 Because ain't, ain't our people deceived today? Yes, sir. Our people are deceived to think that Thanksgiving is some kind of ordain of God. Mm. But it's not ordain of God. It's an evil, wicked feast mm. that's yeah. celebrating the destruction of the ten tribes of Israel. Okay? The Native Americans, the tribe of Gad that was dwelling in this land thousands of years before the so-called white man showed up. Right. These people were here thousands of years before they showed up, and now when they showed up, oh, we discovered America. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Serving divers' lust mm -hmm. and pleasures. 
Read. Living in malice and envy, mm -hmm. hateful, mm -hmm. and hating one another. That's how we used to be. But all praises to the Most High. Uh, the leadership got out and taught, and we were able to learn. All praises to the Most High. All right. Let's get started. Give me Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse 40. Just to prove that the people that were over here on this side of the world were the ten tribes of Israel. We're going to read uh, 13. Uh, 40 through 45 right there. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 13 and verse 40. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. Those are the 10 tribes mm -hmm. which were carried away prisoners mm -hmm. out of their own land in the time of Osea. So the so during, o during the time of Osea the king, uh, was it King Cyrus? King Cyrus gave us uh, liberty to, uh, to go back into the land. But you're going to see... Mm -hmm. That t the ten tribes took, they didn't go back. They 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 said we we're gonna go to a new part of the earth that had never been dwelled before. Read it again, officer. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land mm -hmm. in the time of Osea the king, Read. whom Salmaneser the king of Assyria led away captive, mm -hmm. and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. Read. But they took this counsel among themselves mm -hmm. that they would leave the multitude of the heathen mm -hmm. and go forth into a further country Read. where never mankind dwelt. Now, that further country where never mankind dwelt was the northern, northern uh, North America mm -hmm. on this side of the world. Because remember, nobody was dwelling here, okay? And, and the Bible calls this area uh, Azareth. Mm -hmm. Is it Azareth? Mm -hmm. Read on that they might there keep their statues, mm -hmm. which they never kept in their own land. Read on. And they entered into the into Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river. Read. For the Most High then showed signs for them, mm -hmm. and, held the, and held still the flood Read. till they were passed over. Mm -hmm. For through that country there was a great way to go. So from, from to get to that side of the earth to over here, it was a great way to go. Read on. Namely, of a year and a half. It took them a year and a half to get over here. Read on. And the same region is called Arsara. And this region was back then was called Arsaras, but today you know it as North America. So that proves right there through the scripture that our people came on this side of the earth. And there's many books. Uh, mm -hmm. The leadership has brought out many books to prove what Arsara was. Um, the bishop has brought out he he keep he bring out that clip in that movie where uh Columbus was mm -hmm. following Edris writing mm -hmm. and he knew who the people was when he came over here. Right. Okay. Now give me uh Hosea chapter eleven and verse ten. It was prophesied by the prophet Hosea that 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 God's people was gonna be in the western part of the world. Okay, listen to this. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 11 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Read it out. They shall walk after the Lord. Read. He shall roar like a lion. Mm -hmm. When he shall roar, mm -hmm. then the children shall tremble from the west. You see that? The children shall tremble from the west, meaning the western hemisphere. It was prophesied that our people was going to be over here. Also, give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33 and verse 1. Moses prophesied that we were going to be on this side of the earth. I just want to read one, then I'm going to skip down to 20. Deuteronomy chapter 33. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Read it out. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. All right, skip down to verse 20. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. And of Gad he said, mm -hmm. Blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. Read. He dwelleth as a lion mm -hmm. and teareth the arm with the crown of the head. So the tribe of Gad was prophesied to dwell as a lion. Mm. They was warriors on this side of the earth. Warriors on this side of the earth. And when it says uh, he teareth the arm, uh, that means they had a, a blood brother covenant. Uh, they had that blood brother covenant over here. And then it says the crown of the head. Give me a Give me a photo uh, of the crowns that they had. They had a unique crown. It was made from uh, Indian feathers. Okay, that's this is how we know that the tribe of Gad was here. You see that? Mm. 
they're the only people that had a unique crown like that, made of Indian feathers. Okay, then I'll send you another one. Okay. All praise to the most high. All right. Go back to the uh, give me uh first chronicles. We're gonna go we're gonna come back to here, but I want first chronicles chapter twelve and verse eight. The book of first chronicles, chapter twelve and verse eight. Mm-hmm. And of the Gadites, mm-hmm. they separated themselves unto David, mm-hmm. unto, the ho- unto the whole to the wilderness, men of might. You see that? The Gadites was always men of might. Read on. And men of war. Men, men of war. I remember uh, Elder uh, Athan, he had that class. I can't remember. He brought out this book showing that the Native Americans shoot an arrow mm. through a tree yeah, trunk. Yeah. I was like, yeah. God. <laughs> That's a fact, man. Man, I was like, bro, these men was warriors. The tribe of Gad was warriors. The 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 so-called white man couldn't beat them. The so-called white man couldn't take them out. They were the last tribe to fall. The so-called white man couldn't take them out. He had to get help from Judah, uh, uh, Issachar, and some more people had to help him to, to take those Indians out. They used to say, kill those Indians because this tribe was bad. Gad was hell. Mm. When Gad figured out what these people was about, right. they couldn't take them down. You had the Indian Wars. Okay, read on. And men of war uh-huh. fit for the battle. Read. That could handle shield and buckler. Read on. Whose faces were like the faces of lions. All right. Then I send you a couple I send you a couple pictures of the warriors. When they say that their face was like the face of lions because mm. they used war paint when they went out. Right. Look at that. You see that? They would put on the war paint and go and fight Esau. Look at that. Warriors, fierce. You see that right there coming mm. at you, bro? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going to be like, oh, damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All praises for our people. But our people fail. Our people fail. Okay. So, um, but what happened to us? What happened to the tribe of Gad? Give me Second Ezra chapter 5 and verse 42. Our people went off. Give me that photo I sent to you of our people. Uh, they were doing some kind of rain dance or something. So our people said that they was going to come over here on this side of the earth and keep the commandments, but they started going off, mm-hmm. started worshiping other gods and stuff. Start, you know, you hear about the, the religious rituals of the Native Americans. They used to do rain dances and pray to the sun and right. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So guess what? When you do all that, what's going to happen to you? Because we, we made a covenant with God that we wouldn't do that stuff, right? We wouldn't be in the midst of idolatry. We would only keep the commandments of the Lord. Right. And it's books that prove that the Native Americans spoke uh, Hebrew. Mm. They spoke Hebrew, and they were keeping the commandments of God, okay? But guess what? They went off. The tribe of Gad went off, and guess what? Read that. Second Ezra chapter 5 and verse 42. Second Ezra chapter 5 and verse 42. Mm-hmm. Read it out. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. God's judgment is like unto a ring. Read on. Like as there is no slackness of the last. You see that? Meaning these curses going to keep coming back. These curses going to keep coming back. Our people going, in, going into idolatry, the curses came down. Did we finish that? Read on. Even so, there is no swiftness of the first. That's it. All right, now give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Our people uh, went into idolatry, started doing all type of evil. So guess what? The curses followed them. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The tribe of Gad then hearken to the voice of God. Tribe of Reuben, okay. All of, the, all of the ten tribes didn't hearken to the voice of God. They went into idolatry. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm-hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. All right. Uh, skip down. So God said, if, if you didn't keep my commandments, all these curses was going to come up on you. So one was one, well, one, was one of the curses it's the so-called white man was sent over here to destroy him for the evil that they was doing. Give me that in Habakkuk chapter 2. I want Habakkuk chapter 2. And um, 
and verse 6. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. Shall not all these take up a parable against him Me? and a taunting proverb against him? Okay, and I think I want one. Hold on. I might have gave you the wrong scripture. Let me look at it. I want one. I'm sorry, bro. I want one and six. I said I wrote down two. Okay. All right. The book of Rebekah, chapter 1 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, mm -hmm. that bitter and hasty nation. So remember, uh, when the Mosai Wright wrote this, it was like twofold. So when he say Ch Chaldeans, it's, it's, it's also making reference to the so-called white man. The Chaldeans were the uh, elites of Babylon, okay? But it's also making reference to the white man. He said he's going to raise up that bitter and hasty nation. Remember how he raised up against us when we were in the land. Right. He sent the child in. He did the same thing when we was over here because it's judgment like a ring. Right. We know. Which shall march through the breadth of the land. Now, did not the conquistadors, the so-called white man, march up through the breadth of North America? Mm. They went through and conquered all of our people. They went through and conquered all the ten tribes of Israel. Right. Because our people were in the midst of sin. So God sent that so-called white man over here to destroy us. Mm -hmm. Read on. To possess the dwelling places that are not there. What did he come to do? To possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. That's mm -hmm. what they did. Kind of like the so-called white man is doing right now over there in the land. He's marching through the land right now mm -hmm. to possess the dwelling places, which is not there. Mm -hmm. that, that's not e neither one of them laying over there. But he's committing genocide mm -hmm. over there right now. Uh, in our land Damn. because he wants the land, right. you know. Same thing he did here, committed genocide among all uh, of all of the ten tribes, killed all of them. Killed. Mm -hmm. Why you see, why we when we go out to the Cracker Barrel Hill, you don't see no Native Americans. Right. It was millions and millions. Matter of fact, put that map up I had sent you about how the land, was, the tribes had the, uh, the land of uh, uh, divided. Look, look at this right here. It, our people was yeah. all over this land right here, like in the part in the area where we at. We in Tupelo, Mississippi. It was the Choctaws was running this part of the earth. Yeah. The Choctaw Indians, they were they had this whole. We it was people living everywhere. Now you go out to the Popeyes or something, you don't see none of our people. What happened? They was all wiped out by the so-called white man. And then they, you know what they said after they wiped them all out? Happy Thanksgiving, nigga. Wow. <laughs> That's what they did, bro. That's what they did. We were in all, we were we were everywhere. Our people was everywhere. Okay, where we at again, bro? Verse, oh, verse, uh, seven. verse 7. Read. They are terrible mm -hmm. and dreadful. They are terrible and dreadful. The so-called white man is terrible and dreadful. The nation of Edom, they came over here in their armor with the gun, mm. you know, with the gun, our people didn't know nothing about the gun. Right. But when they learned, they couldn't. They couldn't whip. They couldn't beat our people. Mm -mm. We don't. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed proceed of themselves. We don't. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards. We don't. And are more fierce mm -hmm. than the evening wolves. We. And their horsemen shall spread themselves, mm -hmm. and their horsemen shall come from afar. We. They shall fly as the eagle. They shall do what? Fly as the eagle. They shall fly as the eagle. So what's the symbol of, of the conquistadors? The eagle. Mm -hmm. What's the symbol of the, of the nation of Edom here today? The so-called white man? The eagle. The eagle. God said they're going to fly as they're going to be. They're going to fly as the eagle. We don't. That hasten to eat. Mm -hmm. They shall come all for violence. They shall do what? Come all for violence. But you know, what they, what they teach our people today in school. Oh, it's, yeah, a it's a peaceful meeting. Mm -hmm. The poor pilgrims yeah. came over here on the Mayflower, and they were so hungry, <laughs> and the Indians helped them. Yeah. And you got your children in daycare cutting out a damn turkey. Huh. <laughs> Stop being a damn they fool. <laughs> they cutting out a turkey. Damn. Bruh, they indoctrinate us mm -hmm. and teach us to, to keep this evil feast when, when they – uh, when they murdered millions and millions of our people. Right. Okay. Read that again, verse 9. 
They shall come all for violence. Uh -huh. Their faces shall sup up as the east wind. Read. And they shall gather the captivity as the sand. Read on. And they shall scoff at the kings. Mm -hmm. And the princes mm -hmm. shall be a scorn unto them. They shall scoff at the, the chiefs of these tribes. They didn't give a rip about the chiefs. Mm -hmm. They infiltrated the tribes, killed everybody. Uh, you know, we went recently and seen that uh, that movie Killers of the Flower Moon, Bruh. and it was just showing the evils of what they did to our people. You know, if y'all not hadn't seen the movie, uh, the Osage people mm -hmm. were, uh, you know, of God people, of course, the tribe of Gad. Uh, they infiltrated the so-called white men. They 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 found oil on their land, right? They found oil on their land. And then, guess what? The white man went to work to kill the whole family to get that money, to get that inheritance. And it was just showing uh, how they took over. The, it showed a lot of the curses on our people. Mm -hmm. These people took over. You remember, we had to go to them for our money. They had to go to them right. to get get money right. out of the bank. Yeah. They had set up money, took their money, and put it in their bank, and would ration it out to them here mm -hmm. and there. Okay. All right, where we at? First 10. Again. Okay, read 10 again. I'm sorry. And they shall scoff at the kings. Read. And the princes shall be a scorn unto them. Read. They shall deride every stronghold, mm -hmm. for they shall heap mm -hmm. dust mm -hmm. and take it. They shall heap dust and take it. Dang. And they took everything. Give me that article on the Indian Wars. Indian Wars. Um, but, hey, look, the tribe of Gad didn't go down. Tribe of Gad didn't go down easy. Mm -mm. Can y'all make that a little bigger? We're going to just read a little bit of it. Uh, that's big as it'll go? Okay. Well, you're going to have to make it a little smaller because we ain't going to be able to see across the screen. Okay. The Indian Wars. Read that off. So we'll try to. Okay. As he get over, try to move it over, all right? Indian Wars is the name used in the United States mm -hmm. to describe a series of conflicts between white settlers mm -hmm. or the federal government and the indigenous population of North America. So it was Esau and the northern, I mean, in the northern kingdom, the ten tribes right there. Mm. It was Esau in the north. Now, right here they're saying white settlers. <laughs> white settlers or the federal government <laughs> and the indigenous population, the indigenous population mm. is the ten tribes, the tribe of Gad. Mm. Okay. Read on. The wars were the result of the arrival of European mm -hmm. colonizers ah. who continuously expanded their territory, pushing the indigenous population westwards. That's what the Bible said right there. They should yep. they come to to to, to get the, the dwelling places. Mm. It said that in Habakkuk chapter one and verse six. Mm. They want they uh look at verse six again. It says uh they they sh which shall march through the breath of the land to possess the dwelling places, mm -hmm. bruh. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. They come over here to take this good land because it was the best. Mm -hmm. It was the best. Okay. Go back. All right, where we at? Right there. The wars were spurred by ideologies such as the discovery doctrine mm -hmm. and manifest destiny. You know. That held that the United States was destined to expand from coast to coast mm. on the American continent. So that was that was their destiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Real. And which resulted in the policy of Indian removal. Ah, Indian removal. Well, you know what Indian removal mean? <laughs> Genocide. Right. Genocide. Right. That's what you celebrate. This is what you celebrate because once, once they got coast to coast, you know what they said? Happy Thanksgiving. Damn. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. And every day, our people, every year, our people go get the turkey, which represents the Indian body. Mm, the mm, turkey mm. represents the Indian body. The cranberry sauce represents the blood. And the stuffing represents the guts. Mm, they were mm, celebrating mm. the murder of your own people. Dang. Read on. By which indigenous people were removed from the areas where Europeans were settling. Mm. Forcefully or by means of voluntary exchange of territory through 
treaties. See, these people came over here, divided the land, took the land over, mm. set up laws in the land, and then when the Native American asked, well, what, what are you doing? Mm. Or they came in here and, and they created this currency here and, and gave them real cheap prices for the land. You know? Right. Some evil stuff. All right. We don't. Often starting with the Pequot War of 1637. Mm. Indian wars raged throughout the 17th and 19th centuries. So they couldn't just take us down easy now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't. And, tra and tragically ended with the Wounded Knee Massacre mm. in 1890. The Wounded Knee Massacre. We don't. Albeit also with Battle of Bear Valley in 1918. So what happened, you can take that down. So what happened, uh, the Most High Center sent, sent those people against us mm -hmm. for, for not keeping the commandments of God. Give me that in Genesis chapter 49 and verse 19. Genesis chapter 49. And it was prophesied, it was prophesied by Moses that uh, a troop was go over overtake the tribe of Gad. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 19. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. Gad, a troop shall overcome him. A troop shall overcome the tribe of Gad. What was that troop? The U.S. military, the U.S. cavalry, led by uh, Andrew Jackson. They overtook the tribes of Gad. The native, the, in the article they called the indigenous right. people of the land. Bro, you know I saw that I saw a TikTok video with uh, the so-called Jews, which are Amalek, mm -hmm. according to the scriptures, saying that they was indigenous to that land Dang. over there. I was like, bro, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all kind of proof that y'all came over there, bro. Y'all were not indigenous <laughs> to that land, bro. I was just chuckling when I saw that. And we we're indigenous to that land. Get out of here. Well, where the rest of the tribes at? Liars. <laughs> well, the rest of the tribes that y'all indigenous. Stop it. <laughs> All right, read that again. Genesis chapter 49, verse 19. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. read Gad, a troop shall overcome him. Read. But he shall overcome at the last. But God say that the tribe of Gad going to overcome at the last. The tribe of Gad is going to overcome at the last. Guess what? Because we're going to inherit the kingdom. Right. The innocent blood crying out to the Lord right now. You know, our people's innocent blood is all in this place, bro. Mm -hmm. You got billions. This building we in now probably sitting on top of our people. Yeah. You know, that blood crying to the Lord. Guess what? God going to repay them. God going to repay them when he judged this place. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Give me that in uh, Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 11. So every year, the scriptures say a troop shall overcome them. So every year... You set your table to that troop. Okay, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and verse 11. Mm -hmm. Read it out. But ye are they that forsake the Lord. You forsake God. You forsake God, high holy days. You forsake God laws. Read on. That forget my holy mountain. Read. That prepare a table for that troop. Our people prepare a table. Give me a couple more images of them preparing the table to that troop. Mm. They celebrate. They celebrate the so-called white man coming over here destroying the, the tribes, the Native Americans. They, they celebrate the so-called white man coming over here murdering. The articles say they removed them. Mm. Removed them. Mm. Indian removal. Right. <laughs> That's what they say. Indian removal. That's what you're doing. You set your table. You got your, you got your macaroni and your cheese. You got your green beans. And you got Jake over here. Look at him on the end. Happy Damn. hell. Happy as hell, destroy. Brother, you know our people don't <laughs> never come together and sit at no table and eat no dinner. No. And especially pray together. No. At no other time, no. bro. Nope. <laughs> they bow their heads to that God. Bruh. And look at granddad in the back. Granddad in the back. You got the son over there. You know, generations. Just teaching that crap down from generation to generation. Look at the kid. They learning to. They just left school cutting out turkeys. Damn, bro. <laughs> That's what happens here, right? Mm, mm, That's mm. what happened here. They did. They learned. They learn. You know what they, they saying today? And Indians yeah. At that time. And what they what the what the white man do today? They know the truth came out on it, so they they say, well, it's just a time to be happy. Right. So what are you so thankful for this year? Right. Now's a day to be thankful. Yeah. 
And then you got the you got the simple black woman. Well, I'm just so thankful for my welfare check. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't what this about. It's about the genocide <laughs> of the other of the ten tribes. That's what's going on here. They celebrating that stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me that uh that article that last one I sent you. We're gonna read a little bit out of it. Shout out to the bishop. Bishop brought this out many many years ago. Uh, when I first came in the truth, I I I saw his video on this, and I was just blown away about it because I was I was bro I was keeping Thanksgiving. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw the bishop bring this out years and years ago in a YouTube video, I was like, oh, my God, man. I was like, oh, Lord. I had to start Googling stuff. I'm like that Kermit the Frog Googling. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see the article I'm talking about? The one by genocide? Okay, all right. So scroll down a little bit to where it says, uh, it says, Celebrating the unspeakable. Okay, yeah, right there, right there. You see where it's right there toward the tower say celebrating? Okay, yeah, yeah. Read that part there where, where it say white, white America. Celebrating the unspeakable. Oh, okay, so I'm sorry. Go back to the top, uh, top of the arc so I can get the name of it. This is a uh, this is from a book uh, by Glenn Ford. Like I said, uh, Bishop brought this out. Many, many years ago, uh, I saw it on a video about nine, eight, nine years ago. Mm. And um, so I'm just, you know, bringing it out what he brought out uh, years ago. It's called the American Thanksgiving, Rejoicing in Genocide and White Supremacy. Rejoicing in Genocide and White Supremacy. That's what you're doing mm. when you set your table to that truth. Uh, and it was by a man named Glenn Ford. I think he is an Edomite. Okay, scroll back down to where we were. Damn. Right there, yes, celebrating the unspeakable. Celebrating the unspeakable. Mm -hmm. White America embraced Thanksgiving mm -hmm. because a majority of that population glories in the fruits. They glory in the fruit because the so-called white man glories in the fruit. You You can see how... Uh, Amalek, who is the fake Jews here, the so-called Jews, they glory in the destruction of, of the Arabs over there right now, who right. is Ishmael. Right. They glory in that thing. They were like, yeah, kill all of them. Mm. Kill all of them. And then the big brother over here, America, backing them. Right. So the same thing here. They were glory when they killed the, uh, the, the tribe of Gad here. They were glory in that thing. Okay. Mm. You know. If not the unpleasant details mm -hmm. of genocide and slavery mm -hmm. and fields, really? on the whole good about their heritage, mm -hmm. a cornucopia mm -hmm. of privilege and national power. Really? Children are taught to identify with the good fortune of the pilgrims. I know I was taught that. <clears throat> right. I know I was taught that. Oh, the pilgrims, they were so, you know, they came over here to because they couldn't practice their religion. Right, and right. they came they they came in search yeah. of a uh, area and they met, up, they met up with the Indians and they had a big feast yeah. and they had turkey and squanto <laughs> and, and all that garbage. <laughs> Read on. It does not matter that the Native American and African Holocaust mm -hmm. that flowed from the Feast of Plymouth. Read are hidden from the children's version of the story. See, they hide all that stuff. They don't tell you what they did when they came over here and killed all of the Native Americans, mm. murdered them, took the land. Mm. They didn't. Tell, they don't tell you that with small plots, small pox blankets and all that. Right. Introduce uh, sickness over here to kill them out, right. so they can get to dwelling places. Okay. We don't. Kids learn soon. Mm -hmm. Soon enough that Indians were made scarce mm -hmm. and Africans became enslaved. Indians were enslaved as well, and he's going to go into that a little further. All right. But they will also never forget the core message of the holiday, mm -hmm. that the pilgrims were good people. That's what they do, bro. <laughs> they teach us that the yeah, pilgrims right. were good people. I'm telling y'all, I remember when I was in first grade, 
that we was cutting out turkeys mm -hmm. and and hey bro I'm 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 well over 40 now mm. so this been going on for hundreds of years mm. you know or uh, they were teaching me this and when I start learning the truth I'm like god dang you know teaching this crap right you know I, man I got to get my kids out of this stuff you know you know who could not have purposely set such evil in motion mm. Just as the first Thanksgivings marked the consolidation of the English toehold mm -hmm. in what became the United States. You see that? The first Thanksgiving marked the consolidation. They all, what you're celebrating is the destruction of the tribe of Gad. Right. All right. Well, you know where we at? The core ideological mm -hmm. content of, of what, I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, of the holiday serves to validate all that has since occurred on their sh on these shores. Mm -hmm. A national consecration of the unspeakable, mm. a bomb and benediction for the victors, mm -hmm. a blessing of the fruits of murder mm. and kidnapping, mm -hmm. and an implicit obligation to continue the seamless historical project. In the present day. All right. Skip down to where it says, uh, that, okay, yeah, right there. We'll say the Thanksgiving story. The Thanksgiving story is an absolution of the pilgrims mm -hmm. whose brutal quest for absolute power in the new world. Because they wanted to dwell in places. Brutal quest. Mm. He says it's a brutal quest. God said it was a brutal people. Right. Okay. We don't. Is made to seem mm -hmm. both religiously motivated mm -hmm. and enmity human, human. You see that? That that's what they do. They gave that story to to make you feel like it was a good thing. They was nice. They just was trying to. They were just trying to serve God. Mm. They were just trying to serve God. But they 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 was murderers. They came over here and killed everybody. Took the land. Okay, you know. Most importantly. Mm -hmm. The pilgrims are depicted as victims. That's victims. Oh, the harsh winter. You remember they were saying that because of the harsh winter, the Native Americans helped them because it was they were so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Read on. Of harsh weather mm -hmm. and their own naive yet wholesome visions of a new beginning. Read on. In light of this carefully nurtured fable, Whatever happened to the Indians mm -hmm. from Plymouth to California and beyond? Yeah, what happened to them? Mm. What happened mm -hmm. to our people from Plymouth all the way over to California? Mm -hmm. That map, that what happened to what happened to our people? Hold up, put that map back up. Put that map back up. What happened to our people? You can drive for thousands of you can drive for hundreds of miles and not see our people now. Where they right. at? <laughs> the removal. Mm. Removal. Yeah, what happened? From Plymouth all the way over to California, what happened? That's the destruction happened. God. They killed all our people. Okay. Wow. All right. Go back to the article. All right. What we left off at now? Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever happened to the Indians from Plymouth to California and beyond mm -hmm. in the aftermath of the 1621 dinner must be considered a mistake. Mm -hmm. The result of the mis of misunderstandings at worst, mm -hmm. a series of lamentable tragedies. You know, the story provides the essential first frame of the American saga. B.S. You know, it is unallowed. Racist propaganda, mm. a tale that en endures because it serves the purpose of a succession of the pilgrims. Mm. Political heirs, in, in much the same way the Nazis enhanced mythology of a glorious Aryan German past, mm. advanced another murderous exp explanation. Exp expansionist mission. I skip down, uh, scroll up a little bit. Scroll up a little bit. Okay, yeah, all right. Rejoicing in a cemetery. You see that right there? Mm. The English settlers, who is the so-called white man. <laughs> <laughs> Read that part. The English settlers, their unst unst 
Unstinted. Uh, what's that word? <laughs> bro, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Unstensible, uh-huh. Unstensibly religious venture backed by a trading company. Uh-huh. Oh, they were backed by companies. Wow. These companies wanted land over here. You know. We're glad to discover that they had landed in a virtual cemetery in 1620. Because the the the, the Edomites before them had already had already gave a smallpox out. You know, corn still sprouted in the abandoned fields of the Wampangas. Mm-hmm. But our people, o- that was our people. You know, but only a remnant of the local population remained mm-hmm. around the f- Fable Rock, mm-hmm. Plymouth Rock. You know. In a letter to England, mm-hmm. Massachusetts Bay Colony founded founder John Winthrop wrote, "I eat a mite, you know." But for those natives in these parts, mm-hmm. God have so pursued them. You see that now he's praying to his God. Mm. His God has pursued them. Read on. As for three hundred miles, spa- as for three hundred miles, space the greatest part mm-hmm. of them are swept away by smallpox. Oh, so God did it. No, you did it. You killed everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Read on. Which still continues among them. Mm-hmm. So as God have thereby cleared our titles mm-hmm. to this place. You see that? They say God gave them the land. <laughs> no, you got it through murder. You got it through murder. Hold on, give me that scripture in um give me Zechariah. I want Zech- uh Zechariah chapter one verse fifteen. Zech- Zechariah chapter one verse fifteen. The book of Zechariah chapter one and verse fifteen. Mm-hmm. Bring it out. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen mm-hmm. that are at ease. You hear what God say? God say he displeased with the heathen that be at ease. Read on. For I was but a little displeased, mm-hmm. and they helped forward the affliction. God was a little displeased, but they helped forward the affliction through their evil. Okay? God, 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 sure, he let them overcame us, right. but they fought the affliction by all the murder and the rape. Okay? And the enslavement. Okay? Give me that in Jeremiah chapter 22. Um, Jeremiah chapter 22, and then we're going to go back to the article. Uh, what is it? Ten. Let me look at it. Jeremiah chapter twenty-two, uh, verse thirteen. The book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty-two and verse thirteen. Uh-huh. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. You see that? Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. How did they get this place? By unrighteousness, murder, murder, genocide. Read on. And his chambers by Rome. Read. That useth his neighbor's service without wages. And then they not enslave a lot of the, a lot of the Native Americans. They enslaved them. Read. And giveth him not for his work. Okay. All right. Go back to the article. Um, I want to skip down. It was a part in there that said it started out with Captain Hunt. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, yes, yes, right there. Read that. The following year, mm-hmm. Captain Hunt, mm-hmm. an English slave trader, a what? English slave trader, mm. arrived at Pack Twix. Read. It was common practice for explorers to capture Indians. Uh huh. Take them to Europe. Uh huh. And sell them into slavery. And did what? Sell them into slavery. Read. For two hundred. And twenty shillings a piece. You hear that? So what happened to the the curses were still being poured out on our people? They were coming and they was putting the Native America into slavery. How they was getting them to England? Give me Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight and verse sixty eight. So you know you got a lot of you got a lot of uh, Judah that say that the Native Americans ain't, ain't Israelites. Well. They fit in the curses right here in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. All right, 28, 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Mm-hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt mm-hmm. again with ships. God, Egypt right there means bondage. God said that was going to happen to our people if they didn't keep the commandments of God. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there... Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Was not they were just sold? Didn't the article just say they were sold? 
Mm-hmm. Our people were sold to their enemies. Read on. For bond men uh-huh. and bond women. And you know, women were right there with us. Read on. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem us. Go back to the article. Uh, I want to skip down. It say another common practice. Right there, right there. No, I'm a common practice. Read that. Another common practice among European explorers mm-hmm. was to give smallpox blankets to the Indians. Mm, that's some evil stuff Dang. right there. You know, they tell you, oh, we come in peace. We come in peace. Then they give you blankets. You go get sick mm. because di- smallpox wasn't known on this side of the earth. So guess what? Our people didn't, didn't have no medicine for that. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, hold that. Give me uh, Psalm chapter 55 and verse 20. Psalm chapter 55 and verse 20. Uh, we're going to come right back to that spot on the ark, so y'all keep that place. The book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 20. Mm-hmm. Bring it out. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. You know, we are peaceable people, bro. Mm-hmm. All of us like that, right? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are peaceful. If you come in peace, you know, we're going to be peaceful. Right. How many times in the hood you see you see, you see, see Wicked Jake got the white boy with him or something? <laughs> I got the white girl. That's how we do. Safe, you you safe. cool with us, we're going to be cool with you. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine they come over here lying to us. Oh, yeah, we just, we just you know, we need your help. We're we making peace treaties with you. Right. But the end result, they was war was in their heart. Read it again. He have put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. Read. He have broken his covenant. He had did what? Broken his covenant. Like they do to this day. They'll break, just like the so-called white man breaking his covenant with the U.N. today. They mm-hmm. got they got laws of war set up. They got laws for war set up, but they breaking them all right now. They back in uh, so-called Israel over there. Right. They they back in Israel over there breaking all of the laws. Damn. <laughs> they crimes. breaking, war, committing major war crimes over there, mm-hmm. murdering all them Arabs over there. You know, now we ain't taking no side. Of, you know, we on God's side. Right. But we see what's going on. We see the evil. Right. We see the evil that's going on over there. You all kind of war crimes going on over there right now, bro. Crazy. All right. We you don't. Know. Verse twenty one. Uh huh. The words of his mu- the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Line. Read. But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. Oh, we come in peace. Heckle you some blankets to keep warm. Shit. You damn Indians and and killed all of them. Some with small blocks, small pox. That's damn. it, right? Small pox. small pox. Hey, you know that was in that movie too, man. It what they weren't giving them small pox blankets, but they were giving them diabetes. Oh yeah, they was giving them diabetes yeah. in the in the in the in the, uh, the killers, killers of, of the, the flower, flower moon. moon, giving them diabetes to kill them out. Damn, wanting them to die. Mm-hmm. Evil, bruh. The evil so-called white man which is a nation of Edom. Read the whole thing again, verse 20 and 21. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Read. He have broken his covenant. Uh-huh. These words, the words of his mouth mm-hmm. were smoother than butter. Read. But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. Read on. His words were softer than oil. That's all I want. Uh, read. Go, go to Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. That's why we got to be like this today. We got to... We gotta we gotta follow what the most high set up for us. We gotta know who the enemy is and we gotta follow the scriptures. Uh Sirach chapter twelve and ten about never trust your enemy. The book of Sirach, chapter twelve and verse ten. Bring it out. Never trust thine enemy. You see what God say? Never trust your enemy. Read on. For like as iron rusted, uh-huh. so is his wickedness. Read on. Though he humble himself. Uh-huh. And go up and go crouching. That's what they do, Ron. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I wanna I wanna serve your God with you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. Sure you wanna serve our God with us. You hate our That's guts. suspicious. Yeah, God told us about you. We uh, know now. We right. can read now. No, no, you ain't coming up in <laughs> <laughs> Read on. Yet take good heed mm-hmm. and beware of him. God say beware of him, read. And thou shalt be unto him mm-hmm. as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. Read on. And thou shalt know mm-hmm. that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Read. 
Set him not by thee. Yeah, you know what God <laughs> say? Set him not by thee. Don't take no blankets from him. Right. Don't take no blanket from him because, oh, I just want to give you a gift. Right. I want to smoke the peace pipe with you. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> You know, lest when he have overthrown thee, uh -huh. he stand up in thy place. That's what they did, right? Damn. They overthrew our people and say, hey, the Lord gave us this. Oh, God gave us this. God killed all them dirty Indians and gave us the land. Happy Thanksgiving, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Read on. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Read. Lest he seek to take thy seat. Did you see that? They're going to take your seat. Read on. And thou at the last remember my word uh -huh. and be pricked therewith. You see that? And you remember God's word at the end. Our people remember God's words at the end, but it was too late. Too late. It was too late. They started intermarrying with them. You remember in that movie? Yeah. Flower yeah. of the, uh, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. They was marrying them. Yeah. And uh, you remember the old woman, the old mother? Mm -hmm. She was like, your blood turning white. Damn. I was like, God <laughs> dang. <laughs> but the 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 Osage people was marrying them people, man. Yeah. It yeah. was some evil stuff, bro. You know, God said don't marry them. Golly. <laughs> All right, go back to the article. Go back to the article. Uh, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, right there. Another common practice. Another common practice among European mm -hmm. explorers was to give smallpox blankets to the Indians. Re? Since smallpox was unknown on this continent mm -hmm. prior to the arrival of the Europeans, we don't. Native Americans did not have any natural immunity mm -hmm. to the disease. Wow. So smallpox would effectively wipe out entire villages. See that? They would kill all, all our people without even sing, find a single shot. Mm -hmm. You see that? But it took our people a while to learn, and they, they figured it out what was going on. Not to trust the white man. Mm -hmm. All right, read on. With very little effort required by the Europeans. Read on. William Fenton described how Europeans decimated mm. Native American villages in his 1957 work, mm. American Indian and White Relations to 1830. Sorry. Okay. Read that. From 1615 to 1619, mm -hmm. smallpox ran rampant among the Wampangas and their neighbors to the north. Read. The Wampangas lost 70% of their population to the epidemic, and the Massachusetts lost 90%. Wow, you see that? God, kill all our people, bro. Wipe them out through smallpox disease without firing a single shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I right, skipped down. It's another part of the article that said uh, the country was for. The country was. Let me see. Can I find it? I couldn't highlight it on the screen, y'all. I was trying to, but I couldn't. Um, skip on down. Okay. Skip on down. Skip on down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Slow down. Slow down. You might be going past. Go back up. Okay. Uh, just read that part right there about the governor in 1661. William Bradford. William Bradford, the former governor of Plymouth mm -hmm. and one of the chronicles of the 1621 feast, mm -hmm. was also on hand for the great massacre of 1637. Wow. Read on. Those that escaped the fire were slain with the sword. Okay, uh, skip back up. I want to read about the, uh, what they did to the, uh, yeah, right here. Let's see. Uh, started having uh, the, 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 okay. Started having, having subdued. Having subdued, intimidated, or made mercenaries of most of the tribes of Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. The English turned their growing force southward mm -hmm. toward the rich Connecticut Valley, Read. the Pequot's sphere of influence, Read on. at the point where the Mystic River meets the sea. Mm -hmm. 
The combined force of English and allied Indians bypassed the Pequots mm -hmm. for to attack and set ablaze a town full of women, wow. children, and old people. Look what they did. Read on. Many prisoners were executed and surviving women and children sold into slavery in the West Indies. Mm, sold into slavery in the West Indies. Ah, uh, hmm. read on. William Bradford, the former governor of Plymouth mm -hmm. and one of the chroniclers of the 1621 feast, was also on hand for the Great Massacre of 1637. Mm -hmm. Those that escaped the fire were slain with the sword. Mm. Some hewn to pieces. Wow. Read on. Others run through with the rapier, rapiers so that they were quickly dispatched mm. and very few escaped. Skip down to where it says the rest of the white folks. The rest of the white folks thought so too. Mm -hmm. This day forth shall be a day of celebration mm -hmm. and thanksgiving mm -hmm. for subduing the Pequots. Mm -hmm. Read Governor John Winthrop's proclamation, mm -hmm. the, authentic, the authentic Thanksgiving Day was born. See that? See, after they killed, uh, made a big massacre of the Pequot, they, they created Thanksgiving. Damn. All right. Read on. Most historians. Most historians believe about 700 Pequots was slaughtered at Mystic. You see that? 700 of the Native Americans was slaughtered at Mystic. Read on. Many prisoners were executed, mm -hmm. and surviving women and children sold into slavery in the West Indies. You see that? Uh, showing that our, our kids was given to another people, mm. like it say in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Read on. Pequot prisoners that escaped execution, execution were parceled out to Indian tribes mm -hmm. allied with English, mm -hmm. with the English. Mm -hmm. The Pequots were thought to have been extinguished as a people, mm. according to Indy Media. Read on. The Pequot tribe numbered 8,000 when the pilgrims arrived. Mm -hmm. But disease had brought their numbers down to 1,500 mm -hmm. by 1637. All right, that's all I want Damn. on that. So just, just to show, just showing that... Uh, what you celebrate, it's a celebration of murder of the tribe of Gad, the Native Americans that was already living here, that was already living on this side of the earth when the English settlers, as they call them, which was the uh, the so-called white man, which is the so-called white man, they still possess the land to this day. Right. Okay. So, and but they'll say, we don't want to work for nothing. But you took. Everything. Yeah. You took it by war. Mm. Okay. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 14. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 14. Put the uh put that picture up with them uh Jake praying up there at Thanksgiving. Okay, read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Your new moons mm -hmm. and your appointed feasts, my soul hated. When when you're not serving the one true God's feast day. God say he hate that thing. Now he's talking about wicked Israelites right here that was that wouldn't that was keeping the new moons in sin back then. Right. But today you keeping this feast in sin. You in the midst of idolatry. This is a wicked feast. Read it again. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hate it. Your appointed feasts, my soul hate. God hate that garbage. Read. They are a trouble unto me. He said they are trouble unto him. Read on. I am weary to bear them. I'm sick of them. Read on. And when ye spread forth your hands, uh -huh. I will hide mine eyes from you. That's how when our people pray, we just spread forth our hand. Now the so-called white man taught you to pray like this, mm. putting your hands together. Mm. You see that? Yep. He, the, he is totally opposite of what God say in the Bible. Mm. Today our people pray like this. They get on, they put their hands, they bow their head with their with the hands together like this. Mm -hmm. You remember we you had them old prayer hands at your house yeah, on yeah, the wall? Yeah. <laughs> right. God, God said, when you bow your heads to pray, I will not hear it. Put it back up. Read again, officer. When you, and when you spread forth your hands, mm -hmm. I will hide mine eyes from you. Read. Yea, mm -hmm. when you make many prayers. When you make many prayers over your Thanksgiving turkey and your stuffing with cranberry sauce and all that garbage, read. I will not hear. God ain't hearing that stuff. So all that doing today, all mm -hmm. that stuff they doing today, officer, God ain't hearing that. That's right. 
Y'all bowing your head. Y'all cooking right now mm. over the stove. You've been slaving over the stove. Happy to cook. Happy to cook. The black woman is happy to cook <laughs> yes, on this day. Yes, sir. In other times, she hits you. I got to go home and cook. <laughs> <laughs> y'all been up cleaning chitlins all night. Damn. Y'all been up cleaning chitlins all night. And now you at the stove cook. Somebody listening yeah. right now cooking, bro. Yeah. Somebody listening right now cooking mm. for that mm. wicked feast. Mm. 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 Celebrating the murder. Got the ham baking. Got the honey baked ham on. <laughs> it's baking right now. <laughs> the ham is baking, which is evil. God told us don't eat pork. But our people consume millions of pounds of pork, especially today. Damn. Millions of pounds of pork. You go to the grocery store, the, the damn cooler piled up with hams. <laughs> they is powerful niggardry at work, ham. <laughs> the sophisticated Negroes eating a smoked turkey today. <laughs> a smoked turkey ham. <laughs> All right. All right, did we finish that? Did we read the 14? I mean, 15? Oh, no, sir. All right. Your hands are full of blood. You hear that? God say your hands are full of blood. Okay, your hands are full of blood. Give me that in Amos chapter 5. Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. Amos chapter 5 verse 21. The book of Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. I hate, mm -hmm. I despise your feast days. You hear that? When we in sin as a nation, God say he hates, he despises our feast days. So guess what? God hate Thanksgiving. Yes. Because you're in the midst of all type of evil. You're mm. in the midst of idolatry. You eat, you're in the midst of uncleanness, eating pork. Mm. A lot of y'all keeping a feast with your boyfriend, girlfriend, all that stuff is evil. That's right. Your mama never invite your boyfriend down for Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's evil. God no. say get married. All no. that stuff is evil. God say he's sick of that crap. He hates no. your feast. A lot of y'all sitting in the house right now. Right now, ham on the table, boyfriend in the bed. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. Boyfriend, girlfriend in the bed in the, the back. Hell is this? Mm, mm, mm. A lot of you parents letting that crap go on in your house. You got ham on your table. You got uh, you got chitlins in the pot. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that's some evil stuff. And you think God going God with you? Right. God gonna bless you for that? Mm. Yeah, sure. Read it again. Is a hell of a drug. I hate, I despise your feast days. Read. And I will not smell in your solemn assembly. You hear that? God ain't smelling that turkey. God ain't smelling that garbage. He ain't, when you bow your head, he ain't hearing you. Mm. He ain't hearing you. He said he's going to turn his face from you. He turning his face from you. Okay, read on. Though ye offer me burnt offerings mm -hmm. and your meat offerings, Read. I will not accept them. You see that? You you praying to the Lord, asking the Lord to hear you. God say he ain't hearing you. Mm. He wants you to repent and keep his commandment. How about God feast days? How many of y'all keeping the Passover? None of them. Crickets. Mm. How many of our people keeping the new moons? How many of our people keeping the, the Feast of Tabernacles? Mm. How many of our people keep it in the Feast of Dedication? Mm. But I bet they, they setting their table to that troop today. Right. They setting their table to that troop today. Mm. All praise to the Most High. We came out of that garbage, bro. Okay. Give me, uh, did we finish that? Mm -mm. All right, read on. Though ye offer me burnt offerings mm -hmm. and your meat offerings, read. I will not accept them. Read. Neither will I regard the peace offering of mm -hmm. your fat beasts. Mm -hmm. Take thou away from me mm -hmm. the noise of thy songs. Ah, and a lot of y'all got the music going right now, especially around Christmas time. You got your uh, jingle bells, jingle bells. God say take away the noise of that garbage. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear that garbage, bro. You know, they had a, they have the... The, the temptation, silent night. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is this? God said he don't want to hear that. Now, I, I got to admit, a lot of them, you know, our people talented now. Yeah. A lot of them songs sound good now. <laughs> hey, Rudolph. <laughs> 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 the temptation was bad, bro. Hey, Rudolph. With your nose, so don't, don't do it, Austin. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's some evil stuff. Don't get suspended. <laughs> All right, let me be quiet, bro. Somebody go. Somebody go get the Christmas spirit on them. <laughs> some evil stuff right there, man. 
<laughs> we got to come up out of that stuff, bro. Our people that if you if you at home listen to this today and you in the midst of that, repent. Right. Come out from that garbage. You still can repent. All right, give me that in Colossians. I want Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. The book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. Beware, lest any man spoil you mm -hmm. through philosophy and vain deceit. God say beware. Beware. We have to beware because men will spoil you. Who spoiled us? The so-called white man. Through mm -hmm. philosophy and vain deceit. Read on. After the tradition of men. This is a tradition of the white man. This is a tradition of of the white man. He was celebrating the murder of your people. Read on. After the rudiments of the world uh -huh. and not after Christ. Christ ain't hearing you. Christ ain't got nothing to do with this evil feast today. Mm. Okay. Give me that in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. The book of Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. Mm. Read and I heard another voice from heaven saying, mm -hmm. come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins. You see that? God said, come out of her, my people. Come out of what? Come out of America. Come out of America that you won't be partakers in her sin. Read. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Because this place is going to be destroyed for her plagues, for all the evil, all the murder. Mm -hmm. This place is the blood of the saints is here. The blood of the saints is here. Okay. And guess what? This place got to be judged for all the evil that they have done to the Native Americans, okay? And the and, and us, uh, the tribes of Judah, the southern kingdom of Israel, all of us is here, and they, they committed all type of atrocities to us, raped, robbed, murdered us for hundreds of years here, and they got to pay. Read it again, officer. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, mm -hmm. Come out of her, my people. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Read. And that you receive not of her plagues. That you receive not of her plagues. We don't. For her sins have reached unto heaven. Her sins have reached unto heaven. God know what's going on him. We don't. And God have remembered her iniquities. Read. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Oh, you see that? Reward. He going to reward mm. her like she did us. Murder. Genocide. That's what's going to happen to this place before the yeah. evil that they've done to the people of God, okay? That's all I had today, y'all. So, look, if y'all out there keeping Thanksgiving, repent from that because it's an evil feast. That's Ain't right. got nothing to do with the Lord. Don't be bowing your head today, all that stuff. Put that picture up one more time of our people. I want the one where they holding hands around the table. Because this is what a lot of our people are doing today. A lot of our people on the fence. Mm. Should I repent? A lot of us watch. A lot of people watch us. No, the other one, with they, they had their hands around the table. Y'all see that one? Hmm. Yeah, hmm. that's what they do. Because I remember I was doing this, bro. This right here. This garbage right here. Right. That's what we used to do, bro. Right. Sit around the table like that. We ain't never used to do that crap. Right. But on Thanksgiving, you sitting around your table. Lord, we want to thank you for this food. Lord, we want you to bless this turkey. You think God going to bless the turkey mm. and you celebrate, no. you celebrating the murder of the tribes of Gad and, and the other tribes? Bruh, and you know why our people are doing this, you mm. know, the tribe of Judah and mm. a, a lot of other, other tribes are doing this. The tribe of Gad is mourning today. Mm. It's a day of mourning. It's a day of mourning. Google that for me right quick. Before we before we sign off, uh, it's a day of mourning. Some of some of the uh, areas of the country have, uh, I think they have um, what you call incorporated that a day of mourning from Indigenous People Day or some mm -hmm. some stuff like that. Uh, can y'all Google that real quick? A day of mourning. I know a lot of the uh, the Native Americans here have uh, they speak out every year. On this wicked day. If you can't, don't worry about it. I had, I saw it somewhere. All right, put it up, see what you got. I know I didn't send it to you, so. Yes, yes, yes. National Day of Mourning. Read that, officer. National Day of Mourning. Mm -hmm. Each year on the fourth Thursday in November recognizes the National Day of Mourning. Read on. The observance 
is an opportunity to reflect on Native American heritage mm-hmm. and the role Thanksgiving played in the lives of their ancestors. You see that? Murder, murder, murder. Read on. Go put that back up. Read that other part. The organizers of this observance consider Thanksgiving Day as a continued reminder Mm -hmm. of the democide Mm -hmm. and suffering of Native American people. Mm -hmm. Since 1970, Mm -hmm. participants in the National Day of Mourning have honored Native ancestors and their struggle to survive today. Mm -hmm. Part of the mission behind the event is to educate Americans about the history of Thanksgiving. So this is a National Day of Mourning. Morning. And, you know, it's crazy. Uh, you can take it down. Uh, it's crazy that our people continue to celebrate this stuff, mm. knowing the history. It's, I mean, it's it's too much information in your hand right now on your phone for you to be celebrating Thanksgiving. It's too much information. You can just right. go right here. This is a supercomputer. This is a supercomputer that you can look up anything just about. You can yeah. just Google it, you know, unless they, you know, sometimes – uh I'm going to make sure nothing don't pop up, though. You know how mm-hmm. that is. But mm-hmm. uh, it's just no reason our people should be celebrating the, the, uh, the massacre, the genocide of Thanksgiving today. You know how our people are, bro. We'll see that information that's been put out, mm-hmm. read about it and all that kind of stuff, know about it, but act like, hey, well, you know, well, we ain't celebrating it for that purpose. Right. You know, so. We ain't doing it for that reason. We'll just overlook that whole history Mm -hmm. and say we ain't doing it for that purpose. You know, we got a real problem of recognizing our own suffering Mm -hmm. and just overlooking it Mm -hmm. and just saying, hey, well, we ain't going to do it for that reason. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's because the so-called white man taught us to get over it. Yeah. They teach us to get over it. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. But they still celebrate stuff that they incorporated a long time ago, like Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. It was incorporated back in 1621, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And so now you're still celebrating Thanksgiving today. But forget about slavery, though. You're right. <laughs> hey, with that, y'all, we're going uh, to shut it down. This has been Daily Bread. Uh, a... Um, uh, Take out your phones right now and please subscribe to IUIC Tupelo YouTube page. Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on uh, Instagram and uh, TikTok. Check us out. We'll be dropping new videos. Check out our show, uh, Kingdom of Priests. We got a podcast that we drop every Wednesday. We just dropped a new one yesterday. Check us out, man. We were going in on your boy, Will Smith. (laughs) (laughs) And And Dwayne Martin, right? Yeah. So check it out. Go to our YouTube page and check it out. It's a it's a good show. A lot of information come out. So uh, with that, Israel, we're gonna say shalom. shalom.